a good morning, YouTube. We're getting ready to drop uh, guests off yeah. to ABA. And we're, I guess we're about to have like a sit down video thing in the car. Uh, I'm surprised. Are you surprised? I'm surprised. Not really. Um, <laughs> I also got my partial done finally. She's got so, teeth. Yay. Yeah. Um, so some stuff has been going on on TikTok about whether you can be unconscious or not during a seizure. <laughs> yeah. Um, there has been some medical professionals who aren't really doctors and are like EMTs, so they're the lowest of the low. I shouldn't really be talking much on the subject of seizures. And they make a joke out of it. And they say how if you're flopping on the floor like a fish, then you have a seizure. Um, if if you go limp, they'll put your head above your or hand above your head. And if you move it, then you're faking. And if you smack yourself in the head, you have your unconscious. <laughs> um, apparently, they're talking about um, dismissing criminals. So, I mean, on one hand, you do got people who fake it, so it's good to, like, weed them out. On the other hand, this is also false information that people could try with um, their epileptic friends or whatever, and someone could die of suit it. Uh, you can be conscious. For 90% of my seizures, I'm unconscious. The only ones I'm not unconscious for is, of course, the ones where I'm asleep. But they like to wake me up and let me know they're there, so technically I go from unconscious to conscious. Um, <laughs> then I'm technically unconscious during absence seizures because I'm like not there and I have no memory of it and it's just, you know, gone. And I have all sorts of different seizures that have manifested through the time. And I have every generalized seizure except for tonic clonic also known as grandma and now I have focal seizures which was also known as partials um, and most of these you can be conscious for and 90% of them I am so like most of the time I end up smacking myself in the face but like if it does happen during one where I'm conscious I will move my hand or like talk to you um, I may not know exactly what's going on so I may lose some awareness but still speaking and what, what there you had last night I where, had last night? yeah where you thought I was standing there and I was in bed for like five minutes oh I had an absent last night I spoke to you afterwards because I don't remember any of that but yeah and so a couple of my other TikTok friends who have epilepsy plus me have been calling these people out so now we're getting some hate and uh my friend has done a lot more videos on it so she gets a lot of hate now all of a sudden and she's a lot smaller TikToker than me so she has grew pretty fast in doing it but the comments that she gets just baffles me about of how ignorant people are that try to justify being ignorant I guess um, one person even said to let us die so I mean it's it's pretty bad and I think that this one guy needs to take it down um, she reported him and stuff but they said that there was no um, nothing against community community guidelines standards but yet if a fat person is in a bikini they get their video taken down I don't know TikTok has been kind of toxic lately uh, I've been posting more about epilepsy on there than autism at the moment just because epilepsy actually has a lot less awareness to it which is ridiculous and I didn't know how little awareness it had until recently uh, now I'm bringing to these medical professionals basically making a joke out of us and mocking us. Um, there is a difference between joking and uh, mocking an entire part of the disabled community, the epilepsy community, because like it, it wasn't funny. He was just straight up rude and he's an idiot. So you can be conscious for seizures. I just wanted to point that out because it is 
frustrating how people seem to think that you can't be conscious and that the main seizure type is tonic-clonic which is why I'm bringing awareness because I have like almost every seizure besides tonic-clonic uh, that does not mean I'm immune to not getting them because I could get them anytime especially since my epilepsy likes to switch up on me um, there are people who haven't had grandmas for 40 years and all of a sudden have them but so I'm not like totally out of the water I just don't have them at this moment uh, I haven't had them at all through my adulthood my mom said I had some as a kid but I don't remember but as far as now from 18 to 33 where I'm at now I have not had them uh, the way my seizures have been lately I've been afraid to have one I started the Y Monday and I was taking it very slow because I didn't know if I would have a seizure I didn't have one the whole time I worked out so that was pretty good um, after we drop him off we are going to go look for a phone because I'm shopping for a new phone because we're going to go through a different company because ours kind of, the one we go through now kind of sucks at, in the town we're at now I'm on a plane with my mom so well my mom and my sister so that's what we're doing today too Probably. What size is this one? Let uh, me size. I, I have a pretty good size right here. But uh, the waffle board is only one size. And that's I, what I need. Yep, waffle. I, I can't put any size in there. Uh, no, let's just uh, do this waffle okay. board size. What? Hmm, that's kind of cool. It's very easy, you know. <laughs> Where is it? We know how to cut. red. It stands. I'm gonna have it. How much is it? Yep. Let me do that, really. No. This one? You didn't know about this? No. I did not know this was here. anything? Why? I can't see from over here. How do I get up here? Oh, there it is. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Set the pins. There we go. Yeah. How many do you get? I think it's only five. How many did you do? Oh wow. There's yeah. a little thing up there. <laughs> they keep on having to reset the pins on me. My first one was a, a one. <laughs> you suck, boo. <laughs> That's a little better. Well, Verizon isn't open until 11. That's what we've been eating. <laughs> but Verizon, the store we were going to go to isn't open until 11, so we don't have time to go to it. We don't know if we're going to come back out or not because we live in a completely different town. So that's a bummer. It really sucks because when I was a night out before I had kids, everything opened at like fucking 9 a.m. and now everything's opening at 11 when we're on a strict time limit in the morning and it's ridiculous and annoying and we can't get anywhere 
and then COVID made things even later and it's kind of frustrating since everything we need is in this town and not our town. There is a Verizon in our town but it is kind of a smaller store so we're going to the bigger one. So I don't know, go and look at Walmart maybe but that's annoying. Super annoying now that I'm a morning person because I'm forced to be a morning person because of well kids <laughs> so <laughs> now everything's just open past the time that I can't get there just lovely so we did manage to get a phone at Walmart but for my sister I'm still looking for one for me I had to get my sister a phone by the second which I was gonna get her for her birthday which is coming up in July because we are switching to a new phone company, like I said, and she's actually moving to Vermont. I think it's Vermont. In, uh, on the 3rd with her significant other. So, um, I'm going to end the video here and get some more recording done while my mom is gone because I don't know if you guys have followed up until this point, but my mom just moved in to help me around. A little bit out a little bit since my seizures have been worse plus I have more um, interesting videos that will be out soon I have another video I have to record on what has just happened so just remember that you can be conscious during a seizure um, I don't know why this is such a hard thing for people to concept to grasp around like, not even doctors and medical professionals, but people in general. For some reason, they think that if you're conscious, you're faking, and uh, that every seizure, you are unconscious. Which, I don't usually have unconscious ones unless they are while I'm asleep, but then they like to be known and throw me right into consciousness, and then the absent ones, but most of them are conscious, and they are super annoying. And they have been affecting my life like hell. Uh, which goes into the next video. And I'll let you all know about that then. And until next time. Bye guys.